Three, two, one. Hi, my name is Donovan, aka Duba Dono, and welcome to the Nameless Journey Podcast. So let's go ahead and introduce my guests first. First, I have Mariana, and I also have my co-host, my official co-host. Hi, that guys. is Kyland with three eyes. You already know who it is. <laughs> What's good, 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 good. Indeed. So first things first we are on spotify and apple Podcasts. if you guys want to check out the full extension of the video go ahead and check that out it'll be on there for about an hour and a half and then 30 minutes for the video and also if you like the pictures that are put up on the screen that's azva you guys could use the code double dino d-u-b-b-l-e-d-o-n-o if you guys want 10 percent off of your purchases as well so let's go in and jump straight into it how are you guys doing today oh i'm gonna go first i feel so good <laughs> I um my skin's actually really doing really really good. What you be yeah. using? Y'all know that um the snail mucin stuff or whatever that's been oh, going yes. around. Yes, I've been using it. What it's is really that? Good. I don't know what it is. It like nasty. It's from an actual snail, but no, I don't think it is. But it's like a serum, like mixed with vitamin C or something like mm-hmm. that. So you could put like your I put trentinoin on my face and then I put my vitamin C serum and then add that on top and it just like makes your skin like glowy, kind of clears it up. And it's actually I, like been toning my face out. Okay. So that's a plus. How um, much did that run you though? Like eight seventy five at Target. <clears throat> no, it, I thought it was gonna be like fifty dollars. No, nah, that's what the TikTok they stuff. have it at Target. Like the little travel size <clears throat> ones. Yes. Oh, I haven't seen them. Yeah, they do. I'd be snatching it up quick, but like the TikTok shop, they'd be one dude. They're like, oh, buy it for a dollar or whatever. But once you go on there and you add it to the cart, mm-hmm. it's like ten dollars in shipping. Mm-hmm. They said use yeah. the coupons. No. What coupon, bro? I still haven't found my coupon. I'm trying to find it, bro. I was trying to order something on TikTok shop. Where my coupon at, bro? <laughs> Nowhere to be found, right? <laughs> what about you, Mariana? How are you doing today? I'm doing good today. I'm just a little tired. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long week. Yeah, you been drinking your uh, <coughs> your coffee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and show, show the, it to the class. Show, show it to the class real quick, <laughs> and then tell us your I order don't right like after. I like drinking um, strong coffee. Well, I get a brown shaken espresso with um, white mocha, and then I don't get cinnamon powder. I get cinnamon dulcing, and then oh, vanilla dulcing. Sweet. It's oh. really good. It ma- it gives it a different taste. It really does. I don't like the texture of the powder of the other one so i substitute it with that it's like an acquire taste okay. yeah speaking of taste celsius sponsor us i always drink your drinks i love these drinks man and i love the taste go ahead and sponsor us back to the show <laughs> <laughs> oh, kombucha and kombucha that's really good too for your skin too <clears throat> Boom, my, clap, my. i feel like oh, that would make my stomach hurt this yes well it's a probiotic it's a healthy yeah yeah mm-hmm. It has ginger. Mm-hmm. That made my stomach bubble at work. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was bad that I drank one at work. I ain't gonna lie. Came back from lunch. I was like, hold on. I gotta go back to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Ran back to the car. They're like, where's Donovan at? <laughs> at home. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure it out, bro. <laughs> so, okay. first question for you, uh, because you are the guest. Uh, so, you do have a lash business, right? I do. So, what made you get into like doing lashes or starting your own business well i feel like growing up i was always into like beauty fashion that was just me you know Mm. and i (laughs) go ahead take your time bro you good so technically i went to cos um and i didn't really like what i was doing Mm -hmm. just because i just feel like i went just because like after graduating high school Mm -hmm. Until um, I started seeing, like, lash techs, and I was like, I want to try it out, you know? So I took, like, a little course. And at the beginning, I was kind of into it, but, like, not really. I tried it out. I had, like, two, three girls that let me, like, practice on them. And I just felt like, no, this is not for me, like, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I, like, stopped. I stopped doing it. Until, like, my boyfriend, he was the one that actually pushed me to start again. And I actually took it seriously this time. Okay. Took my time, and I was like, okay, if this is, like... I'm like, you can make really good money in the beauty industry. Hmm. You just have to be really patient. And I feel like that's where, like, I messed up in the beginning, mm-hmm. you know? But I enjoy it. It's very, like... Yeah, you need patience, but it can be very peaceful. Because it's just your mind, your focus on your client, you know? And like a like, one-on-one. Yeah, nobody's, like, bugging you, and you're just doing mm-hmm. your own thing. You do your own schedule. 
you know which is like kind of like that's a plus yeah mm-hmm. it's like i want to make it my like my number one main job but i mean we all start somewhere you know oh most mm-hmm. definitely yeah but so far it's going well like i've been really busy ever since well at the beginning i was kind of slow but i mean that's where we start you know mm-hmm. and like i i kind of like how do i say i put myself out there more i wasn't really big on like putting myself on social media yeah but i'm thankful i'm like busy with the clients that i have right now that's good that's good yeah how much money do you usually make though like just for like one set how much do well, you really depending charge? on what kind of set you want a lot of lash chicks a lot of lash chicks um are different when it comes to mm. like their prices there's classic sets there's mega sets their volumes so classics are more like on the low well depending on who you are and like where your price range is out or like i need what more you of an explanation what the hell is that <laughs> so classics because i heard mega like, and i was like that's yeah. long <laughs> he said the thing so like, i give mega <laughs> lashes it's like the lashes i have on <laughs> i like my big lashes mega <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't no, seem yeah. that bad then. <laughs> it don't look that so, bad. That's what I was like. Um, classics are more like on the natural side. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll try to make it look like you don't have any. Supposedly, like you don't have anything on there. Mm. Light okay. volume. It's like a like a mini version of like the volume. It just depends on the sizes, to be honest. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, for example, like mine, the ones I have on right now, they're like mega volume. So they're pretty big, you know? They are. Mm-hmm. I always get made fun of. Make it fly away. <laughs> but I well, like, wouldn't. No, seriously, you know too. I wouldn't say that you're like going to fly away, but they will charge you extra for a yeah, carry-on. Because those things are big. <laughs> but. No, well, they are megas. So they, uh. they are a little more pricier. I've seen bigger though. I've, like on social media, I'd be like, "That's oh, crazy." Oh, I've seen bigger ones. I'm just like, no, I think this is like hmm. the biggest size I would like or length I would go. Hmm. To be honest, they look good though. They look Thanks. good. You straight. But um, yeah, I'm pretty. At nice. least they're not like the one the girls on TikTok. Have you ever seen that one on TikTok where she had her glasses on and they were like going over? Oh my <laughs> god, I've not seen that. Have you seen the one <laughs> where she has like the window rolled down and oh her lashes like this flapping, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like trying to close the eye but just kept laughing. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I was like, nah, bro. Those is crazy. I was like, <clears throat> it's giving whenever those uh, those people put on the fake lashes on the um, headlights of the car. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh That's exactly my God. what they look like. No, those are megas. Those are megas. <laughs> Mega. No. <yeah. laughs> so, did you ever think about getting into nails? I did. Yeah. I actually did. Um, <laughs> I did practice doing nails and it was just not my thing no no and i did it for like a while um i would practice on my sister a lot and i don't know i just feel like it's just it wasn't my thing like okay. i tried and i mm-mm. do you think you would ever like get back into it and just like try no, it out a little bit no? i don't think so no she said not. <laughs> no. is it like the technique that's like yeah off? like you just have to be like again patient with, do you have a like, picture of your first set oh my god i do but i don't want to show <laughs> Show, so it to the class. show it to the class <laughs> show it to the audience man. So, it was it was something but i did like i did improve i i have like before and after pictures but i don't think i would do nails to be honest no, no. i <laughs> would stick with lashes would you do like skincare and all that like yes ex- i do want to i do want to get into like waxing and like facials that'd be really good yeah That's the waxing part kind of scares me you know mm-hmm. but Why? like I, I don't know like it's just like what if like irritate someone's skin or something you know but it's the same thing with lashing you know of something course. always mm-hmm. can go wrong but for the eyeball at least you got your money oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> so you got the money now <laughs> sorry no but you do have to be very careful like yeah. working on other people you know because mm-hmm. you never know it'd be beneficial though because all the training would, would like pay off and then too well, there's yes. different waxes there's a lot of different waxes so. there's a lot of different methods too <clears throat> So, I have a fact or opinion for both of y'all. Talk to me. California was once Mexico. Is that fact or opinion? Opinion. Really? I didn't know that. Really? You said California was once Mexico? Mm-hmm. Where'd you hear that from? You get... This in the history books? It was just like, okay, what's your answer first? Oh. This in the history books, though. Yes. Yeah, like I don't convert. know. I yeah. just feel like... If it's a fact, it's I a fact. I think you can also... Yeah, it is a fact. Yeah, uh, I don't know the like the 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 back history of it, but I, ah, uh, 
Someone like it got traded somehow or something like that, and but it was Mexico at first, and then transformed to California. Dang. I think even like bottom part of Texas or something was also Mexico. Really, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't what was your answer? Mm, I think it's. What was your wait? What was your question? <laughs> California was once Mexico. Factor opinion. Know. I think is opinion. That would be the, okay. Yeah, That'd I don't be an know. Opinion I've me. never heard of that. I say fact. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. I want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a fact. You got another one. <clears throat> okay, give me another one. <clears throat> Speed around. Avocados are are a vegetable. Is that a fact or opinion? Fact. Fact. Ooh. I love avocados. No, that's a, no, no, no. Opinion, no? opinion, opinion. That's a fruit. I forgot. <laughs> wait, it has a seed. That's a yeah. fruit. Wait, yeah. yeah fruit. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. You're right. Opinion, you're right. Hold on. I was right first. <clears throat> um, speed route. Keep going. Protein is made up of 22 amino acids. Well, we all go to the gym, so. Yeah. Protein is made up of 22 amino acids. Fact or opinion? Opinion. Uh, really? Fact. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a, it's a fact. fact. Yeah. I mean, it's a fact, yeah. bro. Like, literally. Okay. <laughs> okay, done with fact or opinion. Do you guys have a triphobia? And what is it? Triphobia? You know triphobia, triphobia yeah. Like the texture thing, mm-hmm. right? It could be anything. Anything, huh? I think I do, but wow. I don't know what it would... Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like if I would see something weird, I'd be like, ugh. Mine is like cringe. holes. Like, yeah. Holes. Like, you know, like, little, the, oh, you know, like the little craters in people's faces sometimes mm-hmm. from like acne scars? Mm-hmm. Man. That just it just oh. no 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 like the texture of the skin, and it's just like it like digs in. It's yeah, like deep in, yeah. and then it comes. And it'll just be like yo, yeah. Step I think away I've from seen me. something like that at work. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like we can't be friends no more. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's messed up. It just makes you cringe. It's not no, messed up. It's just like cringe. it just makes you cringe. Like you can't. Like, what? Uh, um. But Halloween's over. It's not my fault. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Halloween, we had fun on Halloween. I'm gonna throw the picture oh up there. Address is Mario. <laughs> yes, that mm-hmm. was a really it good was night. A fun, it was a fun night. But <clears throat> I do have one question. It was from somebody, one of my subscribers. They said, we're going to put you up here because I can't pronounce your freaking uh, name. But it says, do you feel that today on social media is trying to make men and women go against each other? Hmm. I say good yes. Question. I say yes. I feel like it's a lot of like split sides, you know? Yeah. And I feel like they're always like butting heads. But other than that, as it's far as crazy. like what, like like men and women and like the equality thing, and uh, basically just having women having benefits mm-hmm. and they want equality only when it benefits them, and then men trying to like fight back off of that. But it's just kind of like that's just minor business. It's not that deep mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like. If you really don't like it, just go ahead and focus on yourself. And yeah, just chill, bro. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like really come across that on social media. Me neither. I see it all the time, bro. Literally. Like me just asking like questions to like uh, people around and it just be like, dang, if you really want to like continue to fight and butt heads with mm-hmm. women and uh, the girls butting heads with dudes, it's just like, go ahead. But like, I don't, don't feel get like getting into it. I don't really get you nowhere with you mm-hmm. just bumping heads like that. You're mm-hmm. wasting time. Yeah, I don't argue. I just walk away. It's mm-hmm. not that deep to me. So what the got to do with me? Huh, literally. <laughs> you can you can cry. You could you could be like, oh, um, she did this. Oh, he did this. Okay, cool. Move I'm on. Walk away. Mm-hmm. Just go on about your day, bro. Not to be political, but to be political. What mm-hmm. do you guys feel about like woman, a woman being a president? Be a president. Yeah. yeah. If it's that deep, bro. Just go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like it's, you know. It's whatever. Yeah. Like, I want to see what they have to offer, but like man. I really don't get into pol- uh, political mm-hmm. stuff. It's just like do your thing. If you know how to run the country, then go ahead and run the country. But if you don't yeah. know how to do it, don't don't go up in there <clears throat> trying to mess up things because we've all uh, we obviously seen that some men have messed up the country with yes. different things that they have said. So it's yeah. just kind of like you got to make sure you put the right person up in there. Oh yeah, some man, people they four years. Mm-hmm. So it's just like yeah, four <laughs> years, bro. Four years, and it's just like don't put the right person in there. Whether it's a man or a woman, just go ahead and put the right person in there so we can figure it out. You know, that's just me. Heck, Obama did eight. Hmm. Hmm. Obama so is my long. forever president. I feel like he was a good president. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Power to the people, huh? 
I don't I don't get into political. <laughs> Let me not just say anything. <laughs> you said they're all right. <laughs> I didn't say no, anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm agreeing with you. I'm Wait, just agreeing. My triphobia was big bodies of water. Oh, I like, thought you was going to say big bodies. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's a different type of triphobia. <laughs> I ain't never seen that before. <laughs> no. You said, oh. <laughs> no it's big bodies of water <laughs> like whenever i used to go swimming with my brother and my cousin like when i was little mm-hmm. i used to be like oh y'all gotta get in first because i'm scared there's like something in there it's a pool you know yeah that's no, valid, i used to have a little fear as a kid that's it's true. still until now like if i were to go on a cruise or something i don't think i could look out or if, if it's on a boat oh yeah it's i don't scary. do ocean I don't do a show. Yeah, I saw the Titanic. I ain't finna end up yeah, like no. Oh. Mm-hmm. Or like a Titanic boat. I would be too scared. You said, do I think the Titanic is real? Yeah. Yeah, it is real. Yeah. Um. You don't mm-hmm. think it's real? Wait, didn't isn't it real? Yeah, they literally discovered the boat. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What'd you think? Um, I thought it was just some random cruise ship. There's, huh? I thought it was just some random cruise ship or what? No, there was like this conspiracy theory or something about like how the the owner of the ship or whatever had like switched the ship to another one that looks exactly like the titanic oh really but it's not the titanic i've seen that like, conspiracy like, theory yeah <clears throat> it's a really good one you heard about making the second titanic they like are. movie no 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 not the movie the actual like boat they're coming up with a second one <laughs> no way that yeah. is crazy mm-hmm. that's what i heard that's something else mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but then again what i heard is that the person that owned the ship said nobody could sink the ship not even god and then boy they took it out with an iceberg god took it out with an iceberg that's Jeez. crazy to me because it's like why are you even me personally i don't play with god's name i don't even swear to god i swear to buddha but uh you what to the fat man, <laughs> <laughs> to the fat man. i swear to the fat man <laughs> I, don't, I don't do all that because it's just like uh, why 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 do you even do that you play with god's name and then he sunk your ship with an iceberg <laughs> mm. That's crazy, but yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, well, that's crazy, but that's sort of food. Sort of food. Okay, this is so random, but what is? But is it physically impossible? It's like a question. Do you yeah. guys know if it's physically impossible for a pig to look like straight up? Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so a, a pig like, to stand up on its legs and no, just look straight oh, up, just, and no, just, up just to look straight up like oh, I'm gonna look up in the sky like how we do Anybody, I, yeah. yeah you think you can Why? yeah no I did my research they simply just don't have the ability to look straight up so they just gotta look straight they, ahead <laughs> wow 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 <laughs> <laughs> so they just looking straight ahead and nowhere yeah, to go or like side uh, to side wow. so they can't look up uh uh-uh. uh so that's what they lay on their back huh huh well no if you're way. laying no, on your great. back you're looking straight like down but i mean they have a neck right yeah but so if you like, actually see a pig i don't think it could go I, up well and not like research all the said, way up you know that's no, tough because they're like, kind of like they're a little chubby so you think they can go like mm, <laughs> never mind <laughs> never mind they can't simply they just don't have that ability is what according to um glossify.com oh <laughs> not glossify <laughs> she he said let me cite my page no 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 just <laughs> Article two. Huh. Article. Oh, wow. Page four. No. <laughs> All right. You did your research. Sure so I have is. a question for you. How do you th- how do you think people perceive you? Do you think people perceive you as the pretty mean girl or just misunderstood? Mm, I'm not mean. I'm just but you got. But then again, we talked when I first talked to you, or when I first saw you, I thought you was mean. Off I think. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just, I think it's just my face. Yeah. I do have a little serious looking face. But once like you like RBF. Yeah, but I mean <clears throat> I get that a lot. I don't get offended. Um but that's just naturally my face. But if you talk to me, like I'm pretty nice. I'm a pretty nice person. Like mm-hmm. I just maybe I can just come off looking mean, but I feel like I'm just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What about you, Kai? Think you're misunderstood? Cause no, sometimes I can be mean. Oh, most definitely. For real, for real. Yeah. But I do have a, like an RBF. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if I'm just chilling, I could really be like looking at you, like, hmm. 
You know, no, seriously. But like in a happy way. Like, but just it's rested. Yeah. It's you know, just wrinkles naturally. go a long way. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Hmm. I just feel like you're I mean you can also be like for example me like I'm a quiet person you know mm. if you talk to me I get comfortable okay I'll talk yeah but that's just how I come like I feel like that's just how people see me and to be honest it's good not to make wrinkles on your face man <laughs> <laughs> I don't like smiling yeah. I don't you don't like smiling I don't like smiling why I don't know I mean I'll smile mm-hmm. but I just just bothers you no it doesn't bother me no i don't i just like you know it's like whatever Do you not like your teeth or something no i no. do i was like, <laughs> I, just, like, like I just don't really smile like it's just naturally like i just like having my face normal. i felt that though because every time i take a picture i'm just like you know yeah, serious like, like a yeah, model like, look mm-hmm. when i take pictures like a lot of my pictures look serious like but it's mm-hmm. just like you know i mean i'll mm-hmm. smile here and there it's yeah weird. i like but, smile. i got nice teeth i got white <laughs> teeth too Mm-hmm. I got white teeth. So just like, wow, my teeth is just pretty. The ain't veneers, man. It's just Invisalign. <laughs> what? Oh, huh? <laughs> what about you, Don? I ain't mean. I just build character. Um, but other than that, I just, I just, <laughs> I just have a serious face, bro. Like, honestly, like if I'm, if I mess with you, I'm going like bully you and mess around with you like i did that to her like i even know who she was but then i was just like i'm gonna go up to her and talk to her and start bullying her and then bam now i'm bullying her at work sucks to suck you know i think you just have like a sense of humor and if you don't get it you don't get it and if you do then it's like oh that's done Mm. you know and then like i did that with kai like i still mess with him and bully him sometimes i'd be making jokes cracking jokes it's just what it is man if you don't mess with it, then it's like it's all right, man. Just go ahead on about your day. I suffer from Don's abuse. No, he doesn't. So if you want to, you don't contact. suffer. <laughs> you don't suffer at all. If you would like to contact, <laughs> contact Kyland and then see if he's okay, because every day I get bullied. Cap. Sucks to suck, man. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I have a serious face, honestly. Like when I'm working and everything, I just kind of like. Me too. I mind my business and I just keep going and running past. Even if I am cool with you, it's just like sometimes I'm just in the zone. Mm-hmm. And it's just like face is serious. Some people think that I'm mad yeah. half the time. I'm not even mad, bro. I'm literally just like just chilling. I don't need to be smiling all day and everything, you know? Like, let me just chill. Or they'll Very be true. like, what's wrong? Are you sad? Are you mad? I'm, I'm like, working. No, I'm just chilling. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm good. Oh. All right, let's move on to the next question. Dude, so, this kombucha. Make your stomach bubble or what? Do everything. <laughs> I don't even be hungry. See, that's it's, why I don't mean. Don't scare me. Well, you just do it on your day off and you're fine. Yeah, because mm. I remember one time I took like those little detox shots at work. Ooh. Oh, it was bad. Oh, my God. Don't recommend at work. Oh, but God. like it was my first time. <laughs> you were doing it like back to back almost every day, no? Oh, remember when I was taking those shots all the time? Yeah. But you like and not the detox one. I did take the detox one time and it was not the best idea, but it did make my stomach better. That's it's crazy, the, what though. brand is it? I don't know if it's Solid. No, it's no, the other huh. one. Uh, I forgot. But they're I don't like know, but right there. also a good one. Oh yeah, I did try that ginger one. Oh, oh my god, it burned my throat. <clears throat> That's but crazy, I mean, it's though. good for like your immune system, you know. Yeah, it is. But at work, yes, those, those ones. Mm-hmm. But you run around at work too. So good, That's crazy. so you. Yeah, those oh, are yeah, good shots. Those. Yeah. But I running around. Them running around at work though mm-hmm. it was bad it? i kept crazy. pausing my batches <laughs> Ooh, she going red <laughs> i was like oh my god never again never again <laughs> somebody had a ticket at 15 <laughs> every five minutes he said i'm going on another <laughs> and it probably sucked just because you would down it and then you would like donovan said you're walking around like the whole store. oh my god have you guys ever been like called out like let's say you're working right and you like you know I'm gonna take like a two minute bathroom break and then they walk you and everybody hears you or so and so why are you not on a batch and then I'm just in the bathroom like <laughs> please <laughs> Man, turn it off <laughs> for real <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like oh I had a little bathroom break 
They're like, oh, okay. They be putting you out there. I hate that. Hey. Yeah, they That's be doing that on one. That's why I don't grab one. walkies anymore. <laughs> I don't even carry a walkie at all. Mm-mm. We used to be on like a specific channel, but not anymore. We just don't carry them anymore. Yeah. And then I just be going. They be trying, they're trying to times. give us walkies again. Oh, mm-mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why, but his doctor said I can't. So his, his doctor looks- said I can't. Hmm. I can't. I don't be in the restroom. I drink some kombucha <laughs> and head straight to the restroom and act like my stomach is hurting. The thing is, is you have to go on company time. Hmm. No you part. Have to go. Since we talking about like gut health and everything, I know that both of you guys are into health and fitness. What is the biggest thing you should focus on when it comes to uh, fitness? I think it all starts with the mental first. Mental mm-hmm. first? Because mm-hmm. if you don't have like that mentality to like, oh, let me just get better, then you're fit- not going to get anywhere. Yeah. You know? Because it's mind over matter. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah. What do you guys be like eating throughout the day when it comes to fitness? Because I know it starts in the kitchen and then it starts with working out. Mm. So what do you guys like? See, like what's a meal like, that you guys like go to? I feel like that's something I struggle with. Yeah. And like, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I eat healthy, but like not all the time. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. And then I come from like a Mexican household, you know? So my mm-hmm. mom be cooking it up in the kitchen. Whipping. So it's hard. Seriously. <laughs> and then i have a fast metabolism so i feel like i use that as an excuse Mm -hmm. which i shouldn't you know Mm -hmm. but i feel like eating is the hardest part in working out for me it's i that's something i struggle with and like with working out and eating no i feel like just eating eating. like the working out part like it's easy it's fun you know yeah push yourself prs or whatever Mm -hmm. but it's just the eating part and even like my boyfriend he'll get on my butt about it and he'll be like come on like you need healthy you're not eating healthy Mm -hmm. and i'm just like yeah i just like sometimes you throughout the day you're so busy you're just like okay i'm gonna go grab something real quick you know a bite and then Mm -hmm. like you just ruin your whole routine and it's just like and you get so used to it but that's one of my main goals that i need to start doing like meal prepping and i always tell myself i always tell myself yeah, but that's we're what I do. Preps, and then I'm just like, I need to do it too, but I just get lazy, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just something I need to work on. But I feel you, like that's, that's my, like, what is Hot it? take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I kind of I agree on you in a way, just because <laughs> I do have a fast metabolism. Yeah. So sometimes I can eat. Yeah. be eating in the morning, like, four eggs with, like, chorizo, yeah. carbs, and, you know? And I still don't gain a pound or nothing. So I think that's Have what like pisses me off. Try creatine? I uh, yeah. Nothing? I do that almost I try to do it every day, but it's every like every time I'm going to the gym, I'ma do it. I feel like that helped me a lot, to be honest. <clears throat> I used to be from when I started working out, I was skinny like a stick. Like mm-hmm. I used to weigh probably when I started working out, I was like one oh five. Yeah. Damn. I'm at one thirty seven now. Mm, yeah that's good that's good <laughs> it took me a while to get where i'm at but honestly it's just i feel like creatine i don't take it as much as because i know it like it messes up your kidneys or something like if you're not you're not drinking water yeah you have to drink a, a good amount of water, of water yes. when you take creatine that's so why that i put my creatine me. in a big yes. jug i only take it like when i work out when mm. i do like sometimes i'll be busy during the um during the week so like i'll work out maybe like two two days out of the week when i can mm-hmm. you know yeah. and i know you always make time for like what you want yeah mm-hmm. but sometimes you just be feeling drained to be honest that's how i am yeah my body exactly. just be giving out but when i do work out i try to work out like four days out of the week and then that's when like i'll take my creatine okay like my water i need to chug my water you know yeah mm-hmm. but isn't it still good to like drink your creatine like all on your off days mm-hmm. yeah you're supposed to but i don't yeah you're supposed to drink it like every day five grams sheesh that's why i just put it in my big jug and then just drink water throughout the whole day yeah i think if i get back on it i could probably like gain a little bit more weight as far as like me eating a lot more i've been actually trying more protein huh Yeah, more protein have you um actually seen that pb protein it's like a peanut butter (laughs) yeah i have that that in the cabin really i use it for my protein shakes and then i also use it for my oatmeal because i have uh by rise it's blue Mm -hmm. berry muffin protein powder and I use that for my oatmeal. I've never tried fit. it. The other, who was it like last week? I went to the gym and like the owner, 
he sometimes he'll like give us samples of like his proteins and they're like super good mm. if you go to remy lion and tillary you know um but he i was like what did you put in because i it was kind of like peanut butter you know and i thought it was like the peanut butter protein mm-hmm. and he's like no it's just like a, i think i'm not sure if it was like a vanilla one mm. but he did add that peanut butter um powder, powder. yeah and i was uh. like oh my god that's so good and i mm-hmm. feel like peanut butter is really good mm-hmm. to like help you but it is like Bro. a fat though huh? yeah it's a fat like regular peanut butter by itself is going to be good for you especially if you're trying to like gain weight in bulk but the pb fit butter is like only like 60 calories for two tablespoons if you do one scoop or two tablespoons of peanut butter by itself i think it's like 120 calories so you also get those calories for like bulking or something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to try it out i might try it out you should. Mm-hmm. that's good though can you put it with your oatmeal though and then i oats. put it with my oatmeal mm-hmm. oats is really good too for like yeah a good carb to go to the gym too yeah. because you need carbs when you go into the gym heck yeah you're gonna see starts huh. huh. because <laughs> i did the wrong thing doing that we i went to the gym do you guys do pre-workout or no yeah yeah and i feel like it i don't no Mm-mm. you just raw dog it that's crazy it's i've tried it maybe because like one time <laughs> i had <laughs> that's literally a term right, right. i, I feel like don't know it's what. because like, I, just... I had it one time and it like messed me up like it was so strong i've never felt my body like tickle and like it felt like i had uh, ants which one my, did you use i don't yeah. know it they just gave it to me the mm. owner of the gym he was like here try it and it did give me that little boost, I won't lie. But afterwards, oh my god. The boy gave you a perk. It felt eat. like I was on crack or yeah. something, dude. He said, yeah. yeah. It was Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. It was hmm. too much. Me that's and Vanessa I mean. had tried, um, there was like a pre-workout that I tried with my brother. Oh my gosh, it made me like that too. Yeah. Like, Which it does seem good. My, my brother's? Uh-huh. It's, it was like um, yellow, gray, c4 black probably it was c4 because it's like a blue blue powder it was probably c4 because i'm thinking because when you said green yellow i'm thinking of that i'll pull up a picture continue to talk but yeah and it would make me like jittery and it does my brother really good i'm like oh wow and he's like i don't feel nothing i'm like well Mm -mm. i'm itching and i can't work out i hated that feeling oh my god and then i had to work that night like after because we went like hella early we went like at four in the morning and i had work at eight and i went to c4 i've tried that i didn't really like c4 oh yeah c4 is not good (laughs) it gives it makes your stomach hurt too Mm -hmm. at the end oh yeah and that too pre-workout makes my stomach hurt and i feel like i can't work out comfortable there's different pre-workouts that don't make you like that I see a lot of girls. They use the Alani uh, pre workout. Oh, I, I heard that one. one's pretty good. Me personally, I use a uh, Gorilla Mind, and then I also use Rise supplements as well I for pre workout. I tried Oxyshred. Yes, Oxyshred is Oxy-Shred pretty good. Is really good too. It's good. Oxy-Shred Oxy-Shred is good. <laughs> and EPH Labs is pretty good too as well. Oh, I heard that one's good. Mm-hmm. They got good flavors. Gorilla Mind. Yeah, I use Gorilla Mind. Mine is the Volcanic Burst although oxy shred is like really expensive and also that has creatine in it as well really Uh uh-huh in my pre-workout so you could take two scoops and you'll be good and it'll be like 300 grams of caffeine a little bit of pump oh 300 grams well Mm -hmm. if you think about it a celsius is 200 grams of caffeine so dang it's a big canister too well that's just so if you're taking two so taking two scoops, that's like I want to say three hundred grams of caffeine. Oh, unless you just do like one scoop, that's two hundred, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, three hundred fifty grams. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, then again, I do intense workouts, so I'm like yeah. I'm lifting heavy, and then on top of that, I'm doing two ab workouts in my workout, and then I'm also doing a mile for cardio as well at the end. Oh, wow. so you actually need all that uh-huh. so it's like i need the energy but i've taken that and then didn't eat carbs before going to the g- gym man i was so drained bro i was so tired like i've had, like last week all my workouts were bad because i've been meal prepping and doing what i need to do because i'm on a cut and man i was just drained the whole time bro in the workout i ended up like skipping like two workouts and just leaving damn but yeah but those are some pretty good pre-workouts if you go if you want to go try those uh Probably. i would try uh oxy shred 
mm-hmm. see if you like that because I know Vanessa and Kai uses that, that one. Makes you sweat. It does. Uh, sweat. Rise uh, pre workouts, they're all right. They have different flavors like uh, Ring Pop, Smarties, Kool Aid, all of that stuff. But it's just like sometimes it has an aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest Gorilla Mind for you right now because you don't like use pre workout like this. So I would start with something a little good. And I heard Bucked Up is really good too. If you want to try that. Never heard of that. Prolific is really good too. I like that one. Mm-hmm. It's very subtle for personally. Like whenever mm-hmm. I started it, it's very subtle. But it is a little sour. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. You got another question, Kai, or do you want me to go on? Um What's your favorite childhood memory, Mariana? Damn, I'm thinking about that one. Kai, then you start like off when first. You're little. When you're little. Um I think I said it in a podcast, but I don't think I told you. Mm-hmm. My brother and I would like play a lot and we would like fight sometimes. Fight? <laughs> we would fight sometimes and he would just be playing with me, but it would piss me off more. So he put me down. He pinned me down like this. We're on the floor, right? Yeah. And so we're just like, I like, he's trying, he's like, ha, 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 ha. like he put his knees on my, my arms. And he was using his hands to like tickle me and stuff, right? Oh my god. That's abuse to me. <laughs> um, at that age, that's abuse and I felt like I was getting targeted. Oh my so, god. Whenever he would do that, I would just be like, There's nothing else I could do. Like his arms were like up here, like he was sitting right here. So every time I would try to like use my legs to kick, it wouldn't do nothing. So I just I spit in his face. <laughs> that <laughs> I would just spit in his face. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like a good childhood memory core memory that i have that's crazy <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> because yeah i'm not gonna let you just like try to tickle me and pin me down that's nasty, and laugh in that's, front of my that's, face that's funny but nasty okay so mine's Deserved just it. funny it's probably messed up but it's funny so um as a kid like my mom my parents would buy us like those pools like the big ones like the blue ones what are they called do you mm-hmm. know what i'm talking about like the like the sticks like you yeah just build it. so you're small so they're so big you know right yeah so <laughs> <laughs> they did look so big no, until now that, yeah <laughs> so one time my cousin came down from modesto and she was spending like the weekend over here and we all went swimming like oh let's go swimming she's tiny you know and like so the pool was like hella big and i was like a lot taller than her and she put on her little floaties <laughs> but she wasn't like she couldn't make it and she kept drown like she was drowning but like not really and i was just standing there and laughing <laughs> your own cousin you just go look at no, her no <laughs> but i obviously like i got her but it was just so funny in the moment because i was like oh my god you know <laughs> that's, that's messed funny. up she's probably never swimming no. with you ever again after that huh probably not she never did huh no she did oh okay some good but trust. it was just it was funny but i like <laughs> and that's the end of the podcast <laughs> <laughs> and then my aunt came and she's like mariana grab her she's drowning and i'm like i got her i got her and then we all got out of the pool homegirl had floaties though no <laughs> the little floaties like going your arms oh. but they were not working dude oh no nah, y'all all the way up all the way <laughs> she's like oh these are gonna oh. <laughs> oh my god it was so funny but do you remember that one time when there was a pool out there and uh, then uh there was ants yes <laughs> who, ants? Got, who got bit up <laughs> somebody got bit up on me <laughs> I just remember one time I was tweaking so hard. I like, seen it and I thought they were in my eye. <laughs> I think they were in my eye or something. I don't remember. Like, like, like it's biting me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was kind of scary. That was a scary time. So, like, what's biting me? <laughs> He's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> On the ladder and all. Uh, uh, it's, uh, he jumped off the ladder and started running. <laughs> Ants are no joke. I don't do insects. I don't do spiders. Ants. I don't do none of that. Me either. Mm-mm. I, get I don't it. do bugs. Insects. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I do a caterpillar. Oh, no, nah, I don't do that either. No, thank oh, you. Ladybug? I'll do a butterfly. That's about it. They don't even go to people. They be flying away. towards me. 
I don't got a problem with no ladybugs either, but like once you get a little too close, then it's like okay, yeah, he might just die. Me 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 me. All right. So, what do you think is a goaded TV show or movie? Mm. <clears throat> I'll start first. Um, Mine is Snowfall. I think Snowfall is a goaded TV show. Oh, you didn't say Snowfall. TV show. Oh, mm-hmm. that's a good TV show TV or show? movie? Only on Hulu, huh? Yeah, Snowfall is a goaded TV show. And then, <laughs> movie-wise, I would say Spider-Man into the Spideyverse. The new one? No, no, no. The old one. Oh. The first one. Oh. I think that's a goaded movie. I feel like that's mm-hmm. a core childhood memory. I'm very girly, so I'll watch like girly shows. Uh-huh. And, like, like Cinderella? No. <laughs> oh, Mean Girls? Barbie? No. Mean Girls is a good one. I like though. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl is a good good show. I can rewatch that show all the time. I like Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday? Yeah. That's a goaded movie for you? Mm, that's not a goaded, but I don't think I have a favorite. I really don't. Because I'll I like, feel like it. I barely watch TV, to be honest. No, huh? Yeah. I feel like I watch certain stuff and I'm like, oh, I like it, but it's not like, oh, this is so nice. I'm gonna rewatch it. I think well, I'm I watch not saying it rewatch it. I'm talking about like, it's a show that you binge watched for the longest time and you just enjoyed it so much. Because I know a lot of people that was on Euphoria and they was watching it all the time. Oh man, yeah. And then people were on TikTok and they were like trying to dress up as them and everything for Halloween, you know. So it's just like. Mm-hmm. There was a TV show. Um, Vampire Diaries. I heard that show's good, but I just, just don't think I would watch it personally. You said Vampire Diaries? Uh huh. Never watched it. <laughs> Me either. You would have to like really sit down and like pay attention. It's like everything. Every episode's like a little bit different. Sneaky Pete. Yes, Sneaky, Sneaky Pete. Pete. That was um this one. It's only on Prime, and then The Mick. The mix on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Those are the best TV shows that I've like binge watched, and I was like watching it, like binge watching one day type beat. Have you watched Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. No. With Childish Gambino. What? Childish Gambino. That's his own show. He's the director. Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It's on Hulu too. I heard it's super funny. I watched like a couple episodes. It's actually pretty good. Can I, I get like, like a preview of it? Hmm. You just gotta watch it to watch it, honestly. And you said it's on what again? It's on Hulu. Okay. It's pretty good. I I suggest you to check it out, honestly. Is it that one? Yep. Ah, okay. It's pretty good. I would check it out. No, I never watched it. Me neither. You know what the show I still haven't finished? Euphoria. Yeah. I never finished it. Really? Uh-huh, there's too many cocks in there. I was like, <laughs> I'm so serious too. It was first episode. I was like, okay. <laughs> what is it? I was like, what is going on, bro? Oh, you have to make it f- past the first three episodes. I did. Oh. Okay. And then I kept going, and then Dad was standing there with his cock out. I was yeah. like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. But it's like a storyline to it. Yeah, I kept watching it and the storyline. But when it came to that part, I was skipping, obviously, because it was just too much for me. But season two is better. Yeah, low key. Mm-hmm. More drama. Yeah. More like intense. It's not like sexualized. Yeah. A lot. Ain't Drake the co director of that? I don't know. Drake. Uh huh. I heard Drake is the co director of it. Of Euphoria. I just wonder what they're going to do for the season three. <laughs> Did yeah. a lot of people leave though? Yeah. And then did uh, someone die? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What's his name? Angus? Angus yeah. Cloud. Uh huh passed away sadly r.i.p and supposedly i guess there's a cat she's not like in the season anymore like in the show at all oh, really? due to like the writer or something like that i don't know the writer strike mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like everything's on hold at the moment what's so weird too is like that that strike's going on but every like <laughs> so people are still like sending out movies and stuff which is good i think they should just end it there for you for you no leave you at can't. a good note you can't you can't honestly leave it at a good note and then like come back maybe like what how long has it been out for it's been out for a while 2019 no i think 2020 no 2020 or 2019 2019. something like that give it like 
a year or two. No. And then give us a new season. Oh, no. Honestly, I say no. do that. Look at Fast and Furious. They be uploading every six months. Literally. But, <laughs> but I ain't watching that, though. That's yeah. stupid. You guys don't like car mm-hmm. movies? Car mm-hmm. movies is cool, but it was like car they movies? went from racing to going to space. Oh, mm-hmm. look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's why I was like, okay, <laughs> that's where I stopped there. I was like, how did you get the a car in space? The old ones are good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the old ones are good. Yeah. Like Tokyo yeah, Drift like, and all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite ones, I think. But mm-hmm. when they got into space, I was just like, okay, now I'm over it. And then just more random people started coming in too. Like mm-hmm. The Rock was cool. Then I saw John Cena. He ended up being the brother of Vin Diesel. Then I was like, okay, that's when we stopped. Cardi yeah. B was hot in there. And then Cardi B came. I was like, where'd she come from? <laughs> space. I was like, space. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think when I really knew that it was going to be over for them, when I heard that they were trying to do a crossover movie between Jurassic World and Fast and Furious, oh, and I said, no. yeah, that's, I'm not watching none that. of that no more. It's just money, bro. They're literally just trying to get money. It yeah. was just like they can't. They don't know what to come up with anymore. Yeah. At that point, Stop they should. They really should have ended it when Paul Walker yeah, passed away. That's what I thought they were gonna yeah. do. It would have been good. They would have left on a good note. Left the movies, and they could have done like spinoffs, but they kept going with the Fast and Furious, bro. And I was just like, yeah, they messed it up. You think it would have been nice to do like a spinoff, like after he passed away, like just do spinoffs of like commercials? Well, they already did a spinoff with uh, Hobbs and Shaw. I don't know mm-hmm. if you watched it. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was like, mm-hmm. and that was like from the Fast and Furious franchise. And they did a spinoff with that. They could have done a couple more spinoffs with Hobbs and Shaw, but they decided to continue with this Fast and Furious stuff. And I'm just kind of like, they really messed it up, messed up his legacy. And then I heard that Paul Walker's brother was supposed to be in the movie. Wasn't that guy from Hobbs and Shaw like kind of bald? Isn't that his brother or no? No, no, no. Oh. That's why I was like, dang, just let him rest, you know, at this point. At this point, it's just more of a cash grab. Oh, really? Like, just, let's stop. <clears throat> All right. Also, also another go to TV show is Regular Show. I love Regular Show. Regular Show is my favorite thing on Cartoon Network, if y'all watch cartoons. I don't think I've watched that. <clears throat> you don't watch cartoons? Um, I can't I like get cartoons. into cartoons. Yeah? yeah? What's your go to cartoon then? Oh my god, as a kid, I loved Curious George. Curious George? Oh, yes. <laughs> I used to watch that show. all the time. <laughs> oh my god. When I was little, little. Or like Arthur. Arthur? Oh my god. From PBS Kids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, those were the good ones. Heck yeah. Those were good. I it's remember. Heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. What about Wild Kratts? Oh my god. The Wild yes. Kratts. <laughs> that was a good one. That I like that one. That was a good one. They always used to come up with something unique. In the valley. What about you, Kai? Go, dude. Cartoon. Mm. Oh, there's so much. If you had, ch- if you had to choose one for the rest of your life, which one are you choosing? A cartoon. Uh huh. And you can only um, watch that one. I Carly. That's not cartoon. What? That is a cartoon. That's, a TV, that's, not a cartoon. that's like a show. I'd watch. A- <laughs> me. Did you guys? Did you guys ever watch Clifford? <laughs> yeah, we watched yeah. Clifford, the big red dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I saw they came, the movie? A, they came out with the a, they came out with a movie. They came out with a live movie. action. I was like, I didn't what? See movie. <laughs> me neither. But that thing. It was, uh, yeah, when you start, uh, I, 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 look at when they start coming out with live action, I'm like, okay, we're done. There's no point. Oh my gosh, I would look it up the Clifford movie. The the the, the what is it? The dog? That thing was so big. I look still can't it. I still can't leave the fact that you said I Carly as your goaded cartoon though. <laughs> I, I Carly, Carly is. No, they not. they collabed with um, SpongeBob. How is that even possible? They That's, collabed with SpongeBob. Oh I like SpongeBob. SpongeBob and SpongeBob <laughs> was a part of Nickelodeon, obviously. <laughs> They collab- no, they collabed together. You didn't see um, when, um, what episode? Like it, number. It was a uh, season twenty episode. Five. I mean, they they got to season twenty for did, did, yeah. iCarly. Um, no, just speaking of iCarly, have you seen the new iCarly on Paramount? <laughs> oh my gosh! They came out with a new one. The mm-hmm. only thing is, is that Sam is not in there. I never really watched iCarly. No. No. I thought Victorious was tough. Mm-hmm. Victorious, iCarly. And 
Zoe 101 was tough. Oh, yeah. Zoe 101 was really good. I would still watch that. <clears throat> they just, like, take it on and off fast with, like, different streaming platforms. But... Um, mm-hmm. iCarly now, I don't like it. No. Dude, they're adults. And it's just, like, so different. Like, whenever you're watching them, it's a cool transition. Like, watching them from back then to, like, now, it's like, oh, they're adults and they're in different, like, lives, whatever. But, dude, you're still in the same house. Yeah, they like, did make it adult friendly, too. It's just different. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I do want to ask you a question again uh, Mariana yes. So, how did you and your boyfriend meet And how long have you guys been together? So And go ahead and shout out your boyfriend as well <clears throat> Well, my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> His my name boyfriend. is <laughs> Why are you laughing? What is so funny? Who makes you happy? My boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> Who gives you roses? My boyfriend <laughs> Um, Who as buys you milk? My boyfriend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. What was the question? Oh, introduce him. His name is Alexis. Mm-hmm. Um, people in town know him by Little Uzi. That's like a nickname. He Little Uzi. Yeah, he's like obsessed with him. All so right. people know of him by that. Shout out Little Uzi, Uzi and Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> but um, question is, how did you and your boyfriend meet, and how long have you guys been together? We've been together for two years and like seven months. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long time. Two years and seven months. Um, we met. We worked together. Okay. So the thing is, we went to the same high school, but like you guys worked together at Target no, or somewhere else. No, somewhere no. else. So um, I knew of him like when I first like met him i was like wait he looks so familiar Mm -hmm. and it was from high school but like obviously in high school like i didn't really talk to people like he was a senior i was a freshman yeah so it was a big gap literally when we were in high school why are you laughing (laughs) 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 you know people grow yeah people grow (laughs) yeah (laughs) so we all my i started working my first job was at little caesar's really mm-hmm. wait how was that Dang. it was something it was a first job like you know mm-hmm. pizza, pizza. i was 17 like i just wanted a job <laughs> i did not i hated it there not gonna lie i was thinking about working there yeah really? like, a, like a while back yeah no i don't recommend is it hot was it hot well, at mean, that time yeah you're always around like imagine like, like kfc oven, oh, yeah, like KFC. You're, oh. it's, it's like always that. hot you, you're greasy all the time but yeah. Sweaty clothes. So technically, okay. that's where I met him. Like, I didn't. He just randomly applied, and I didn't know that mm. they had hired someone. And like the girls were like, "Oh my god, did you see like who, who was hired on?" There's always girls in there. And I'm just Only like, girls. no. <laughs> like I didn't really care for. It. Like I wasn't like looking for a relationship or anything. Yeah. Like it was. I, I was just doing me, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like a assistant manager there oh, so dang. just getting paid money. huh he's huh? getting paid bank or what <laughs> no. <laughs> no no they huh. literally will tell anybody like oh you want to be the system manager like dang they don't oh, that's, care. Valid. that's like so the they pbs that me with kfc <laughs> oh really <laughs> no, they're no. like you could be a manager uh, like, no no <laughs> it's <laughs> to not stay here worth for 12 it. hours it's like what am i supposed to do it's not worth it so yeah technically that's how we met like um work like okay. i was the man the assistant so i had to like teach people and they're like okay you're gonna teach them how to make this how do you mean that and that's how we started talking we clicked so fast like it was so unexpected to be i was not like expecting it to happen to be honest and he was the one that was interested first <laughs> so like i was just like doing me you know I was did you like, think that he was cute yes i did think he was cute but did you say did you say oh we should go on a date how did that happen well yeah, how did that come about? How, 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 or did, how you just, on a date? Or did y'all just like? No, we're, well, we're I married. mean, we were no. <laughs> He's like, we're married. <laughs> he wants to marry He's me. He's like, you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, like, how did it go? Y'all went on a pizza date? <laughs> no. <laughs> pizza, pizza. pizza. <laughs> now they went to me and Ed. Stop. Stop. Oh, they got the dominoes. Talk. My bad. <laughs> go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys are funny. <laughs> a little. <laughs> it just, oh, okay, okay we're ready, so, we're ready. 
Yeah, so technically we just clicked or whatever. And I know you guys want to laugh. <laughs> my little over here quivering. So, my little over here quivering. I'm like... No, I'm Time sorry. Breathe, Go it's ahead. okay. I just, <laughs> but if I breathe it, I can't. It won't, stay, it won't, it won't stop. Right. So he found me on Instagram, uh-huh. and at the time he had his snap on his bio, yeah. and I added him on Snapchat. And then as soon as he like added me back, he hit me up, and I remember I had gotten called into work because he had called out, because I was like, you know, like I had to cover a shift. Yeah. And he's like, oh, like what's up? What are you doing or whatever? I'm like, you know, here I'm covering your shift. Covering your shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had called out. I was so annoyed. You think he tried calling out for you? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. I just, uh. And yeah, technically, that's just... Everything happened so fast. Like, it was unexpected. Like, and then we just started chilling, and that's how everything happened. Okay. Dang. Now y'all are dating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two years two and seven years months. Seven months. It's been two years. Yeah, it's, it feels like it's been longer, to be honest. Yeah. Dang. We gotta get him on here one day. <laughs> No, seriously. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I told you to bring your boyfriend. <laughs> that's literally what I said. Well, it's because I thought he had his school in the morning. Uh-huh. That's why. Well, we have to get him on. I'm always off on Wednesdays and Thursdays and also Mondays. So, we got to get him on next time, both of y'all. So, I have another question. Um, so, when it comes to a fall off in a friendship slash relationship, what emotions do you think you're moving forward with? Anger, sadness, or just nonchalant? Like, I don't care. That's, like, a hard one. <clears throat> I just feel like it depends on the situation. Mm-hmm. You I feel know? like I move with anger. Yeah. Yeah, but I just, like, I don't put towards anger towards them. I used to hold grudges. Hold grudges? I okay. learned to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. And it has helped me, like, grow as a person. Valid. Because, you know, I feel like relationship or friendship-wise... You go all, like, you know yourself, you know? You're going to go all out for that person who you care or love. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, whatever, like, I guess, you know? Depending on that situation. I I feel like I believe in everything happens for a reason. You know, God puts people in your life, and he removes people out for a reason. True. True facts. I think, um... You said anger and anger, sadness, or I don't care, nonchalant. I think it's all like I have a I whole bunch like, yeah, of emotions. It's hard. Yeah. And it's not even, um, like sometimes it doesn't even have to be about the person. It's just like um, mentally me. Like I always like knock myself down sometimes. Okay. I understand that. I think for me, it's more anger, just more like I'm going to be. It motivates me for me to be better, you know, mm-hmm. like when I got out of that, uh, I got out of my relationship of almost two years. I was 255 pounds and then that's when I started getting in the gym and now I lost like a bunch of weight, got strong and all of that stuff. Started this podcast, started getting a little bit, uh, a little bigger on social media and started doing more in school just like branching out and doing different things even photography like i was making money off of photography too and i was just like i need to grow and be better and like forget about that and then it's like now sometimes i see her like stalking my like tiktok page so they always come back they always well that's always, always come back they always what stalk. Else? <laughs> hmm, well that's between them and god i don't care you can yeah. do whatever you want you know just don't forget to Hmm, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and then also hit that thumbs up bell as well. But we are on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well. And you're listening to it right now. So if you enjoy the content, go ahead and follow the Spotify account. Or even follow the uh, Apple Podcast account. And go ahead and hit that bell as well. So you get notifications when we drop a video. You'll never miss a video if you turn those on. Another video, another podcast. You already know what it is. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can go ahead and get the video. Mm. I chug like an egg and I just say bless you get stabbed so, <laughs> but yeah I feel like I move more with anger just like <clears throat> more motivation that's me personally it just depends like how your personality is like if you're an emotional person you mm. know what I mean yeah it hits you mm-hmm. I feel like that's that was like a big one for me cause like everything happens for a reason 
but like all those like memories come back in your friendships you know mm -hmm. but then you remember like everything okay this happened because of this yeah you know and do you feel like an emotional person just i am a nice. very emotional yeah. person i try to control myself i just feel like i can be mean when i want to but i just know that's just not me yeah mm -hmm. like you don't want to stoop down to their level yeah that part that's good so i just let it be like i'll always have like love for certain people mm. but like from a distance from a distance you know what i mean that's so valid though honestly yeah. that's so smart that's a, that's a that's like a grown man and grown woman mindset you know like you actually want to you forgive them and everything and you want them to continue to grow and go on about their day but they just can't be in your life yes. you know which sucks for them but do you guys believe in silent cutoffs silent cutoffs lucky <clears throat> yeah huh mm -hmm. or no kai yeah and no i say yeah because it's just like if i mess with you i mess with you but when you see me like stepping back it's like you're not in that close circle because i have like i have my friends and i have the close circle with the yeah. people that i'm tight with you know yeah and then if you're not in that tight circle then that means you're still my friend we just not that close and i'm not going to tell you a whole lot about me you know like you still in my friend group. You still in the circle. You just not not you're not gonna know a whole lot about me True. because you're not in that tight circle. Because I, I have maybe like three people in my tight circle for real. I just feel like after certain situations, like some friendships aren't the same anymore. You know. Mm -hmm. What about even, you? Even if it's been like, <clears throat> like what if y'all been friends for like a while, and like all of a sudden it's like a cutoff. Like I don't know, I can. I, it's, it kind of like throws me off. Like if you're just gonna cut me off for what? Because if it's then been you just like so long. Yeah, I just feel like it's an awkward situation because like you know them as a person and you're just like, you know, it's whatever. Like I don't know. But it's I also just, do. It, it, you just go back to being strangers, you know. Mm hmm. But I also do believe in like, like so there was a point in in our like we've been friends since we were little but there was a point in our time like we didn't talk at all like really? we literally didn't but once we like seen each other again we just like kind of picked up where we left off mm -hmm. years ago so i feel like our lives just <laughs> separated because i both of us went to two different schools at a point in time i was doing football he was doing his thing and it was just so life like, just got in the way yeah, yeah basically well see that's different but it kind of was like a cutoff because I don't know. I wouldn't say it was cut off because we were still cool. And I would say yeah, like, what's like up to you, you and everything cool when we did other. see each other. True. But it was just like. Very true. We weren't as close because our lives were going in separate directions. And we just ended up meeting in the middle. You know? Yeah. So that wasn't. Okay. But when like, it comes to like silent cutoffs though, I think it's cool. But like if it happens to you or anything, I think it's more like if the person's mature enough to be able to talk about it and everything, then it's like, I'll go talk to them and confront them about it and just like figure out what's the problem yeah. and if you're like i don't want to be friends no more okay that's cool i'm going about my day but if you're not mature enough and you just like when i mean mature like people going around and like oh i'm gonna go tell my friend over here and tell him that this happened and that happened and then i'm gonna go post about it on social media oh like people God. on some dumb stuff people be doing that <laughs> and it's just like it's stupid to me it's just like why are you posting stuff man like it's a waste of time no shame no tea i person this is my personal thing why are you posting your emotions on social media yeah i'm logging off bye I, i'm logging off my friend is gonna take care of my streaks <laughs> stupid oh what my are you god about? <laughs> i can vouch for that <laughs> You said logging off. My friend is going to take care of my streaks. Oh, my God. My mom took my phone away, so. Mm. Dude. It's just like, come on now, bro. Like, as, <laughs> as, as a grown man now, it's just like, that's stupid. But when I was younger, yeah, that was like cool, I guess, because everybody was doing it. But now, yeah, as but a grown now, person, as man, a, yeah. it's just like, that was dumb, bro. Why are you doing that? 11, 11. Make a, 11, make a 11, make a wish. <laughs> Oh, bro. Who <laughs> so remembers that? No. <laughs> it's Women Crush Wednesday. <laughs> Men Crush M Monday. M <laughs> what are you doing here, bro? Oh, my don't God. don't care. I, I love her so much. Oh, my God. And then put a bunch of hard eyes. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time when I was younger. I was in Bakersfield because I remember it so vividly. It was 11-11. On Snapchat, yeah. I put, like, this much in, like, names back to back to back to back Stop. i was like i looked back at it before i deleted Snapchat. Hmm. yeah 
What was I doing? Uh, 11 11 make a wish and then tagged all of your friends to everyone. And then you ain't even friends with them now. Like, what do you mean? I wasn't even friends with them then, like, during the just, next week. Let me or just so. put it. Hmm. Yeah. It was just, it was like, why? The, the trend. Huh. Huh. So, yeah, that was, that was, dumb, that was something. Yes, it was. I do have this question for you, though, because I asked Vanessa on the last podcast, uh, why do women record themselves when they're crying and then they post it on social media? She said her words. She said it's more of like, I would say, like a therapy type of way, looking back on how dumb it was. But I'm like, why are you posting it on social media, though? You know, that's my question personally. And I'm not saying you did it, but I'm just asking, like, in general, why do you think women <clears throat> record themselves crying and then post it on social media? I kind of <laughs> agree with her. Yeah. Like, mm, <laughs> so <clears throat> I feel like girls use it as like a look back, you know, mm. like, oh, I was like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, <sighs> progress i guess progress but i mean i don't know why do they really posted myself but it's just like if it's progress wouldn't you keep it to yourself it's just like why are you even posting it like i understand like or maybe because they want like they don't get the attention Mm. you know what i mean so you think it's like an attention type of thing kind of like from home or something i don't know yeah Mm. they're trying to look they're trying to um look for it somewhere else Mm. Mm. do you get what i'm trying to say yeah not that they want like attention you know but it's just like kind of like not in a bad way but i would say like let's say it down the middle it's more for like attention (laughs) like it's more like you trying like you saying that you growing and everything but it's for attention so you have people to check up on you because you're not getting that love from where you want it from so you're trying to receive it somewhere else yeah i feel like that's kind of where i see it from Uh like if we say it right down the middle then i understand yeah but like when it comes to like oh i'm gonna cry and then my first thought is i'm gonna pull out my phone record myself yeah and then i'm sad and then post it on social media then it's kind of like okay are you really sad you know but then again it's like if you want attention and if you're trying to find that love somewhere else that you're not receiving uh somewhere then it's like okay cool i understand yeah. i think you still have to like seek out help some somehow because i do there's a girl that's like my age or 20 already and she still be posting on like social media and like how she feels and stuff and i don't i, I don't think know. that's just how they cope yeah mm-hmm. people are different yeah May I suggest whoever is probably going through that, like, just write down your thoughts. Like, just get any journal. It doesn't even have to be a fancy journal. You can just get a piece of paper. Just, like, whatever you feel. If you feel negative at that time, write your thoughts. You could be happy thoughts. Just write them down. And then you could either reflect on that or just events. It kind of gets whatever out. Like, whatever you're feeling at that moment, just write it down. It do help. Even if you don't have a notebook, just type it out on your notes. That really helps. I do that myself when I be dealing with stuff a to rock outside out. mm-hmm. anything huh work out oh work yeah, that's out. a good one too man that's my therapy right there i ain't gonna lie because i can't afford a therapist so good so expensive <laughs> they're so man, expensive it's man, more than a gym membership pricey, man i might as well just pay 35 a month to go to my gym i'd rather do that that's it you know so it's just like that's what it is <laughs> so next question what is a crazy or weird thing that has happened to you i'll go ahead and start off so I'm going to tell this story. There was one time I was coming from work, right? And I closed that night. Let's say it was like 1030. You know where I'm going with this too. Okay. It was like 1030. And I see some dude with his shirt off walking in the street of my neighborhood. And I was like, what the heck? Like, who is this? Yeah. And then I was <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. So I like look at him. And then I see him walking faster when he saw me come around the corner. And I was like, what oh, the heck? Yeah. I pull into my driveway. And then I see him walking even faster towards my car. So I put it in reverse, back up on my driveway, and skirt off. And bro was running at my car like a Call of Duty zombie. <laughs> like, he, <laughs> like running bro, and yelling too, just sprinting. You're and I'm lying. I'm dead serious right here in this neighborhood. I and I was like, pushing. Freaked out. Or it was, I, was, I was so calm, but I was so pissed off because I was like, bro, look, I just got off of work. I'm trying to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so I literally put it in reverse and then I'm pushing 40 in my neighborhood while he's sprinting after my car. Oh my God. And then I guess this whole situation happened when I left and my dad heard that he was chasing after my car because he just came to my door and he kicked my door twice. 
so my dad went outside he got mad he had his gun on him and everything because you know he's a cop yeah bro went out there picked him up and slammed him and then he already walking the cops to come get him pulled back into my neighborhood there's like six cop cars out there oh my god just to stop this one dude it was crazy bro. crazy freaking weirdo it was crazy it was but then again he was he was like high off the drugs and everything so he was like okay he wasn't mentally stable at the point mentally ew Uh which was understandable but i was more pissed at the fact that he like ran after me because i was like bro i don't even know you why are you running after me i didn't even do anything to you i just was trying to get into my house you You probably look like one of his homies homies (laughs) no the reason was is because he said he has black people on his job that uh mess with him and he said that he doesn't like black people now so you so go basically anywhere just to look for black people so basically you saw me driving in the car yeah i'm an african-american male and then bro just started chasing after me and i was like i don't even know you mm-hmm. why are you chasing after me bro like weird yeah that was That's a crazy a situation excuse. with me um when i was younger i used to live on the west side <clears throat> oh sorry and um it was like a two a duplex like duplex like two houses in one but oh, okay. like yeah. split or something um so <laughs> so i guess my mom said that she had put us to bed and like we were going to bed like just like dozing off me and my brother shared a room and then my dad and my mom were there yeah. and we had like a little like the front of the house and then it goes to the back where our rooms are and my closet in the room is connected to the back storage like there's a wall obviously but they're still like connected with wall wise and my mom's like huh babe it sounds like someone's in our shed just like this on nonchalant right my dad goes like we're getting robbed darts out there and like my dad said that there was like two skinny man two skinny it was three people and three guys in total one fat one and then two skinny ones and the two skinny ones ran away so my dad was like ah if y'all are gonna run i'm gonna get this one right here you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) So both of them, all Darted. three of them standing there? Yeah, I try to get in like this, our storage. They're like the 110. Huh? They look like 110. What's that? Two skinny dudes, one fat dude. Fat dudes, the zero. <sighs> the other two are the ones. Yeah, he, my dad got the zero. Oh. He just started out of You could have run too fast. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't run. No, no, no. He's, 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 he's like, oh, I'm going to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'll just get y'all later. So he got the fat one. And then, <laughs> yeah, that was just so... <laughs> <laughs> that's a crazy time because my mom was just like he said that my mom was just like so nonchalant like mm, it sounds like someone's in our shed girl we're getting robbed <laughs> like what I'm weak bro but yeah and it was pretty early it was like bro like 9 o'clock did they ever like in the morning no p.m. oh I was like so they were I really think pretty early I was like in the morning is crazy Mm-mm. robbing somebody in the morning is wild <laughs> good good there I'm weak did they ever catch them though no we didn't make a report or anything we just moved i'm weak but my dad just beat them down Caught beat the that. fat dude though. yeah man <laughs> i bet you when he got back he's like you guys left me man you guys left me. <laughs> you said i got beat up for what <laughs> nothing he gotta run the next time <laughs> they're probably like lose weight man <laughs> he said if you want to ca- if you want to catch up with us run <laughs> no that's crazy what about you well, mine was kind of like, um, it's a little different. Uh huh. Like scary. Like spooky weird, type like stuff. Like scary weird stuff. Okay, I'm ready. So I don't really do like scary movies. Uh huh. And like I believe demons are reals, right? Mm hmm. And I remember this was back in high school. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> God. <laughs> so I had watched mm. The Conjuring, right? Yeah. yeah Which that, one? I don't re- I don't remember which one. I think it was the. I don't know if it was the first one. Was it the third one? Because the third one. I don't know. It was the scary one. I don't know. I don't remember which one it was. It's probably the third one because that one was the the devil's something. They have so much. I think much. it was, it was that the one. Third one. The third I one was creepy. I think it was that one. Okay, so in high school, I was in avid class, right? Mm-hmm. So we would do like these field trips to Cal Poly, whatever, mm. and. Um, the girls I used to talk to back then, they're like, "Oh, like let's watch this scary movie on our way there, right?" We're like, okay, like, whatever. I didn't really think about it, like, anything. But I am a little scary cat, you know? Yeah. And so we watched that movie. And then, yes. And then (laughs) my mom, she kind of, like, 
started seeing stuff around the house no yes that's where I'm, like yeah you guys yeah Wait, so you watched it where i watched it in the bus but the mm. thing is like you know you open doors to that uh-huh. and it's like you, it was it was something else and at the time i remember my aunt had came down to visit us and she stayed the weekend and we watched a scary movie in the living room but it wasn't very like demonic it was more like action like scary like but it was, yeah but it was still like scary you know and i remember she had told me in the morning that she had like heard something like in the middle of the night like you know like a metal bucket just fall hmm. it was weird so then my mom started like like feeling these weird things around the house seeing stuff and like my dad thought we were crazy like he hmm. didn't like you know like believe us and like obviously like my family like they mm, they're religious so like they they obviously like we know like demons are real like yeah you know and i started like i I started seeing stuff in my room and it was just like at the time i had like this like you know whenever they would do like those pinches wop um tapestry yeah Mm. and i had like this wall heart shaped out of pictures that i had printed out and i kid you not it looked like someone just grabbed the pictures crumbled them up and put them back on the wall no way and i was just so mad i was like blaming my siblings like hey like who came in like who did this right <laughs> like, the siblings. yeah and they're like no nobody and we're just like all right like you know i was like mm-hmm. this is odd like i don't remember this being like this mm-hmm. and then there's this other incident where um my i had like a little vanity desk like it was super small and it had like a little shelf on the top and i had a plant and I remember I had cleaned my room, and I had cleaned the vase and everything, and I had pushed it to the back so it wouldn't fall. Yeah. The next morning, I woke up, and it was like like this, like at the edge. On the edge? Like about to fall. Weird. It was just weird, and I thought I was going crazy, dude. I seriously thought I was being crazy. And then this, my mom's stuff, like stuff was going on in her room, and it was just weird. Dang. So I was showering one day, and my mom, she was in the living room, and like, she comes and like bangs on the door like get out of the bathroom right now like get out literally soap everything get out and like she's like freaking out dude she's like the stool just moved in front of my face yes like my skin is getting like the chills right now dude <laughs> that's yeah and that's whenever she like called the people like you know like the church people and they came and like they came to their house and they made like a really like long prayer and after that day we felt like calm like i couldn't stay home alone i was i didn't feel safe at my house oh yeah that's crazy yeah just off of watching that movie huh just like i feel like just yeah like you can just watch any little thing and jude you're already like you know Mm -hmm. but also the fact that right there is uh that movie is based off of a true story too and then i know at the end of the movie they played the actual like like, audio of the uh exorcist you're, oh, and yeah. like as a kid you're dumb you think it's oh it's a it's a joke you know like let's watch a scary movie no dude it's not a joke that was the last time i ever watched something like that in my life and like i yeah. was like never again yeah that right there is crazy bro ah uh, ah uh. things Mm-mm. easily come through screens oh yeah most definitely Sorry, if i try to screen. have kids you ain't having no mm-hmm. phone yet mm-hmm. they'll sit down and watch the movie with you yeah the spirit uh, yo yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's weird. So, let's go ahead and finish it up. That was the last question of the day. Oh, okay. So, thank you for watching the podcast. My name is Donovan, aka Double Dono, and my co host, Kylan, with three eyes. And I also want to say thank you to my guest, Mariana. If you want to shout out any of your social medias, you can because this is the video, uh, the audio for Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So, if you want to go ahead and do that, go ahead and drop it. What's well, just Mariana and then Odo School? Indeed. all together <laughs> all together Literally. so if you guys want to go ahead and follow her on instagram or any of her social medias or if you want to go get your lashes done go ahead and check her out on there and i wanted to say thank you for coming as well and joining us thank you for having me <laughs> indeed so like i said my name is donovan aka double dono and this is the nameless journey podcast use code double dono for azva clothing too if you want to go ahead and get some clothing get 10 percent <laughs> off of your purchase so and I'm kind of with three eyes. Indeed, the <laughs> co-host. So, y'all have a great day. Nameless Journeys Podcast. We up. You have a good one.